I am Neo Starling. And if you weren't sure before, now you are. Hello everybody, how's it going? I am your host Neo Starling and I'm basically here with a video on how to resolve the Blue Yeti mic not working on Windows 10. Now, if you're like me, I just finished building my rig here and I tried installing my Blue Yeti and it wasn't working for some reason. It was driving me insane. I went nuts. I was reading forums. I was looking at YouTube videos. I tried everything and I couldn't figure it out. Um, so there is somebody that did actually figure it out, but only halfway. It wasn't fully explained. So what I want to do is fully explain it. That way we can work on this together and you'll be able to get your Blue Yeti, Yeti mic working on Windows 10. And just so that you can see, this is an authentic version of Windows 10. As you see right here, this is Windows 10 Pro. Just minimize that. And as you can see over here on my device manager, down under sound videos and game controllers, I have my Blue Yeti mic right over here. So it is a reality. It's there. It exists. So with that said, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go on over to bluemic.com. I will place that in the description and show you guys how to access this. So basically, you go to bluemic.com. Um, after that, you're going to go under desktop USB, then you will go to Yeti Pro. Um, under this, you will look for the drivers, which are over here. Now, as you could see, yeah, there's new drivers available, except that there really isn't because the latest one that they did was actually for uh, Windows 8.1 Home or Pro Edition. There isn't one for Windows 10. Right, so that's a problem that we're having. A lot of us have not been able to do this, and it was driving us all mad. I'm actually recording this video through my Blue Yeti mic, and I'm going to show you how I did it. So, first thing you do is you hit download over here on the bottom left hand side, it's going to download the driver. Now, when you open it, uh, I'm going to show in folder. Usually, this goes to your downloads by default unless you have it set up somewhere else. So, it's over here right now in my downloads folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag the driver out and I'm going to place it in another folder that I call download on my desktop. Um, after that, you just double click it. You're going to see the driver here. What you want to do is right click on it and you want to extract here. Now what that's going to do is it's going to extract all the files and it's going to actually put it on this folder that you have available. Um, it's better to do it outside of the downloads folder, in my opinion, because um, that way there's just less confusion if you have like a cluttered download folder. I know a lot of people tend to have that. Uh, but if you know your own mess, you'll be able to get through it, no problem. So the problem that most people were having is, is that when you try to double click on it and install it, it wouldn't go through. Um, it would say you need to connect your device if, or if it's connected, just disconnect and reconnect it. So what you want to do is here on the actual setup, you're going to right click and you're going to go down to properties and you're going to go to compatibility right over here right and here this is what i ended up changing so by default it's on windows 8 and you don't want to do that what you want to do is make sure that you have it on windows 7 run this program in compatibility mode for windows 7. after that you'll hit apply so that way it finalizes your setting then you'll just hit ok so now it's going to be compatible for windows 7. so what you're doing is turning back the hands of time so that you can go to a previous time point in time when it actually worked for this particular version of Windows. Um, then basically, you're just going to double click it. It's going to, you know, prompt you to open it up, download. It's going to pop up here. You just click install. I already have it installed, so it might not do it. It might do something different. Uh, look, so you see how it's finished already? It's finished because I already had it installed previously. So you just hit finish. You're good to go. Um, again, you can just on the on the start menu right here, you can just right click and you can go to device manager. Let me just click off on this. And right here you'll see under sounds, videos and game controls, it'll say a blue Yeti. So the blue Yeti is now available there. Um, if you right click on the sound icon right here and you go to uh, playback devices, it's really the same thing whether you click on playback or recording, um, you'll see that the blue Yeti is here. And it's also under recording, which I'm actually using right now to do this video. So it is Windows 10. It's legit. It's not a lie. It's reality. I'll click on uh, not here. I'll click here again so that you can see that this is an authentic version. Because when I build this computer from scratch, I pretty much ended up installing a clean version of Windows 10. And I was going insane because I couldn't use this thing. So I hope that solves your problem. Oh, also one more thing. This is what wasn't added previously. Um, 
you also want to make sure that it registers the device when you connect it initially. It, you know how like it'll make a sound and then it'll say, oh, installing a device onto your computer. Um, that's not installing it with the drivers. That's why you're doing this. Um, you also want to make sure that it's connected to a USB 2.0. All right, not 3.0. Because if you have it connected to 3.0, it's not going to work. You have to connect it to a 2.0. That's the only way it's going to work. If for some reason you connect it to a 2.0 and it doesn't recognize your device at all, sometimes a little icon will be glowing. So the mute button, it'll 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 have the, the little red glow on it. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the cable itself is working. Me personally, I had to get a brand new cable in order for it to recognize my USB 2.0. And that's what I did. So as long as you have a fresh cable or a working cable, uh, USB 2.0, not 3.0. And then you download this the exact same way I just showed you. You're not going to have any problem with your Blue Yeti mic. And you'll be able to record with perfect sound. So if you guys like this video, please just feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. You know, do the damn thing. Uh, show some support. You know, like put this wherever it needs to be. Because the reality is, is that a lot of people can't figure this out. For some reason, Microsoft is no good with this stuff. They tell you like a million different things that you've probably tried and it doesn't work. So... Thanks, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, just, just share this with your friends, anyone that's having trouble with this, because I, I really had trouble for a while, and it was driving me nuts. Anyway, thanks again. Don't want to take up too much of your time, because I know you want to install your Blue Yeti. So enjoy.